Hey guys, David Monk here, After School STEAM Educator with Children's Museum Houston. This Good Vibe Show is coming at you right here from one of my favorite places in the museum, Power Science Lab. We're in the lab today because we're investigating dioxyribonucleic acid, or for short, DNA. Uh, so DNA is a polymer made up of four specific uh, monomers called adenine, thionine, guanine, and cytosine. A pairs with T, G pairs with C. So basically what DNA is, is the building blocks of all living things, uh, and it's what makes a tree a tree, and it's what makes me, me, or for today's instance, it's what makes a banana a banana. So we're going to actually extract the DNA uh, from a banana today. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I've taken my banana and I put it inside a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna add about half a cup of some water. And then I will also add these four packets of salt, which is about a tablespoon. It's about a tablespoon of water. So this is gonna create a solution that's gonna help the DNA extract uh, once it's uh, put inside a test tube with alcohol. So the process for this is I need to take the, the plant cells in the banana and I need to do two things. I need to mechanically break down the cell walls with my hands, but I'm also going to use some dishwashing detergent to help break up the lipids that are found inside the cells. And lipids are fats. So this will help the DNA extract. It'll help break up that cell wall. So once we uh, put it in our test tube and begin the extraction process, the DNA will actually pull out of the cells. So I'm going to just take this and mechanically break it down for a while. You're looking for a real consistent mush. You want to kind of get rid of as many of the solids as possible. So you'll just massage the bag with your salt water and dishwashing detergent solution. And we're going to make basically a banana solution in the end here. So you'll want to do this until all of the big particles are broken up. Um, and then you're going to want to let this solution sit for a, at least five minutes uh, so that dishwashing detergent and the salt can begin to pull the DNA from the cells. So I already have some that I have prepared before. So I did the same process here. Once you've done that and you've let it sit for five minutes, you'll need a sieve, a funnel, and an Erlenmeyer uh, flask. And you'll carefully pour the banana mixture into your sieve. So this process is called filtration, right? And we're just removing the large particles of the banana. And what we're collecting in our Erlenmeyer flask in the bottom there is our banana solution. And that's what we want. We're gonna be able to extract that DNA from the solution. That's why we don't want those uh, large pieces of particulates. So we'll filter that off. I'll move this off to the side. And like I said, you'll want that to sit for at least five minutes uh, so those lipids can start to break down the fats in the cell. So after you've done that, I've got a test tube here, and I also have some isopropyl, uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I'll take about probably one pipette of my banana solution here. And this process, you don't want to agitate it too much. So you kind of want to pour it carefully with your pipette down the side of your flask. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol. What you're looking for here is a one-to-one -one ratio, right? So I did one pipette of the banana solution. So now I'll do one pipette of my isopropyl alcohol. And again, you're gonna push it down the slide, uh, down the side of the test tube. You don't wanna agitate it. You don't wanna mix it too much, right? You should have a nice uh, couple two-layer density column while you do this, right? So now that I've added the isopropyl, um, the DNA will start coming out in the solution. So this takes a, at least five minutes before you'll start to see the DNA extract. I have some ready for you guys already. And what you're looking at, I have two samples here, is the snotty looking solution, right? So you can see down at the bottom we have our banana solution and we have our alcohol, but that stuff that uh, like uh, snotty, gooey looking solution that's in the middle, that's actually the DNA extracting, right? So these have been extracting for maybe 10 minutes. The longer I leave this out, the more DNA will extract and you'll be able to see it start to travel up into that isopropyl alcohol. So that is my banana DNA extraction. Thanks for joining me for this Good Vibe show. Hope you guys have a great time and I'll see you next time.